What I'm going to be showing you how to do today is make a ashtray, if you don't smoke, candy dish, if you don't eat candy, a change bowl, whatever. I'm going to show you how to make that today with a piece of granite. I had my saw guy cut this piece of granite, eight inch each. What my plan is, is to make this a three part video. Um, it's gonna take me a little bit of time to do this. And I know nobody likes watching super long videos. So we're gonna lay it out. We're gonna cut it. Then we'll come back and we'll polish the inside. Then we'll come back, maybe we'll polish the outside, put some feet on it and show you the finished product. So what I'm gonna start with right now is laying it out. Since this is a training video, we're gonna use tape. This is what I would recommend anybody just starting out making ashtrays. That's what we're gonna call it, an ashtray. Making ashtrays needs to do. I normally don't, but I've been doing this forever, so I don't really need to. But what the tape does, is if you slip out, if you mess up with your pads, whatever, and you get on the face of this thing, it's protected. Also, it makes it easier to mark your circle. How do you make a perfect circle? All right, it's really, really simple. This is eight inches. I want an inch left over everywhere. So I want a six inch circle. So I got me a piece of sign material, template material. I put me a hole in the center here. Then I measured three inches off of that and I made me another hole. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get me an ink pen, a screwdriver, something sharp, and I'm gonna put it through that end of the hole. I made me a center mark, four inches, four inches. I'm gonna take this ink pen, and I'm gonna poke it right there on that center. I want to take me a sharpie, something I can write with. I'm going to stick it in that hole. And then I'm going to just go around. Now I got a perfect six inch circle dead in the center of my eight inch piece. Real simple, that's all you got to do. Before I learned how to do that, I was hunting coffee cans, blades, whatever to try to make a circle. But that's how you do it. That's how you lay out your circle for your ashtray. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this circle out so that we have kind of a, a concave so that we can put things in it so it's not just laying flat. So what you need on this, I've done a video on these grinders before. These are the Makita SJS, my best friend. I've also talked about these blades before. They're a Talon five inch wet dry blade. Get it from Braxton and Brax. Safety glasses, put them on so you don't put out your eye. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make straight cuts all the way across. Then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna make straight cuts. Then I'm gonna turn it and make straight cuts. You guys will see what I'm talking about. So you wanna put your grinder on five, make sure your blade's on nice and tight, make sure your training wheel's on here real snug, and we're gonna start cutting. So here we go. Sorry, I want to mention this. When you're cutting, you want to go deeper in the center areas than you do on the outside areas because you want that concave. Reno, you turn my other fan on? Now we're gonna go here. Again, I'm gonna go here. Turn it here. Go 
down here. Right over here. So as you can see here, I've made a bunch of cuts and I basically ate out that circle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my blade to the side and I'm going to kind of eat that out. Same blade, nothing changed. We're going to turn this to the side here. We're going to eat that out. When you eat this out, you want to start a little bit inside of your line and work your way down. So. And turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. All right, so now what we got is we've got a little bit of a concave in here. I got it nice and smooth as I could. I made sure to get out all the blade marks. That way I don't got to work myself to death with the pads. I got as close as I can to my line here. That way I don't have to work that out too much with my pads either. So that's how you lay it out. That's how you lay out your lines. And that's how you take your blade, clean it out. That's step one of making an ashtray out of an eight inch piece of granite.